In this one, let's take a look at finding some partial derivatives of e to the negative x, y, z. So we have the following f of x, y, z equals e to the negative x, y, z. And the first partial derivative will be with respect to x. So let's find that now. So f with a little x as a subscript, f partial x. So I'm going to apply it to this. So I'm going to use this now over here. Remember, that means you're basically are finding a derivative. So with respect to x, you put an x. That's another way of writing it. And then here I'm going to put e to the negative x, y, z. And what we do is model this based on, you know, the single variable calculus way. So, which says that you copy the expression. So you copy the e to the negative x, y, z directly. So e to the negative x, y, z. And then you multiply by the derivative with respect to x of the exponent. So you multiply by the partial with respect to x of negative x, y, z. And it's important to understand because you have multiple variables involved that in this particular case, the y and the z are treated like numbers, like 5 and 10. They're constant, basically, okay? So basically what you do then is, at the next step, you take the y and the z, and because you're differentiating with respect to x, the y and the z can go out front. So they become like this. Take a look. y, z, all the way out front. That is so, remember, for a basic reason right if you have three numbers like two times three times five you can write this for example if you wanted to as two times three times five or you can write it as for example like two three times five right this is pretty much what it's amounting to okay you can just switch the numbers around so you can write you know five times three times two you see that when you're multiplying and x y and z those are just three numbers in the end right if you plug in values so you can just take the y and the z and pull it out front that's all by these basic, really simple rules of, you know, basic math. Let me just erase that so it's not in the way. So I take the y, z, I place it out front, I copy the rest of it, e to the negative x, y, z, and then I still have to find the partial with respect to x of that negative x. Well, that is just negative 1. Hopefully you know that basic fact. So the whole derivative at the end will look like this. You're going to have... When you differentiate this portion right here, the partial with respect to x of negative x, that value is equal to 1. So I don't need that there, essentially. I can just put negative 1 in this position, you see? So lastly, when I rewrite it, I'm going to write it over here. All the way, it's going to look like this. It's going to be the negative. You're going to move that out front, usually, so it becomes negative yz. And then e to the negative xyz. So that's how you do the partial with respect to x. When you do the one with respect to y and, uh, and z, exactly the same sequence of steps applies. So, for example, f partial y here, let's do that one. You really should pause the video and try it on your own, but so e to the negative x, y, z, you have everything you need. So, you copy e to the negative x, y, z, and then you multiply by the partial with respect to, uh, I'm sorry, y, not x, because now we're differentiating with respect to y of the exponential expression here, so negative x, y, z, of the expression in the exponent. And again, because you're differentiating with respect to y, the x and the z this time are constant, so place them out front. So the next step will look like this. You're going to have negative x, z. You're taking the negative x and the z, and you're moving it out front to the front of the e. And you can do that, again, by the basic rules of, <laughs> you can multiply in any order that you want, right? So then the rest of it would be e to the negative x, y, z. And you multiply, again, by the partial with respect to y of y. And the partial with respect to y of y is just 1. So in other words, this derivative right here, you can just put a 1 in there in the first place. It's just 1, okay? But as I'm sure you know, multiplying anything by 1 doesn't change it. So for that reason, you don't even need that 1. So the partial with respect to y is this expression right here. And now the last one, with respect to z, again, it's going to follow exactly the same sequence of steps. So f sub z equals the partial with respect to z of e to the negative x, y, z. So copy e to the negative x, y, z. Multiply by the partial with respect to z of the exponent, the entire expression. And again, this time I'm differentiating with respect to z. So I take 
the x and the y in the negative, and I move this portion out to the front of E. And then I just differentiate the z by itself. So when I carry that out, take a look, it's going to give me negative xy. I'm taking negative xy, moving it out front. I copy E to the negative xyz. And then I'm left multiplying by the partial with respect to z of z. But that derivative has the value 1 again. So in other words, you don't need that there. It basically leaves a 1. And when you multiply by 1, you don't change anything. So again, this is that portion. This is the partial with respect to z, partial with respect to y. And this one all the way was the partial with respect to x. And they're all done essentially the same way. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like. I'll see you in another video.